you amazing beautiful people welcome back to another first time reaction video so a while ago well i guess kind of a first time reaction video so a while ago we did a reaction uh to yoru is it yoru shika is that how i say the name yoru shika um they did a song they did free ren special ending song and since then i've been getting a lot of recommendations for yoru shika a lot of people asking me to react to more of their music so I figured that's exactly what we do today. This one's been recommended, and that is Yoroshika's song, Say It. So I figured you want me to check this one out. Make sure you put all your recommendations in that comment section down below. Please make sure you use like and subscribe. Press that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And let's jump into my first time ever reaction to Yoroshika with their song, Say It. I really like the drawn art animation, it's really nice. Kind of reminds me of uh, that really famous music video that came out like earlier this year. It's got like a cuteness to it. Ooh, I love the bass. I love how much in like uh, J-pop and, and J-rock they utilize the bass guitar. I feel like the, the Western world really doesn't. I feel like Japan always really utilizes the bass. I really love the soft, smooth, like mellow vocals as well from the singer and the really nice soft rock instrumental as well. I can imagine this like being performed at like a summer festival in Japan or something like that. I've like, been performed outside, like this, this being like everyone just like vibing in the hot summer sun. It's got that kind of vibe to it. Really nice. Interesting song. It, it, I I I love this. Whenever I react to it again, it's like anything from Japan. I'm always like battling, trying to understand if the song is a happy or a sad song. If if it if, like what it means and look deeper into it. I feel like every song almost feels like poetry and has like these complicated sort of layers to it. And it's almost like a, a jigsaw puzzle you're trying to solve. And I love that. And this song feels like both a happy song and also a sad song. You know, masked by that really nice summary instrumental and vocals. It's hard to tell, but it is a beautiful song. And I really, like I said, I really enjoy just this drawn animation. It gives it like a wholesome, childlike innocence, you know, to the whole music video. Jumping down the stairs. this how do i express to you that the sky is blue that simple line feels like poetry to me it can be multiple things it can be arguing with someone who will just always argue with you you know will always pick the other side and you can't give them any kind of logic because they're just going to argue against it how do i tell this person the sky is blue how do i make them see the obvious or it could be something more simple where it's just like how do i let this person know the beauty of the sky you know it's like open to interpretation i love that Heavily delusion going on here. God, the guitar work is fantastic. <laughs> Jesus, see what I mean? It's kind of got like a Hendrix sound to it. Like all that air. I love this song. I love this song. Yoroshika, I love this song. Or Yoroshika, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. 
Like having these like mellow vocals, even when the instrumental picks up and becomes a bit more rock heavy, a bit more loud, a bit more crazy, energetic, and just keep maintaining that really like mellow nature on the vocals is beautiful. And again, I keep going back to what I said about like a summer's day. It really feels like that. It massively feels like that. I could just, I can really see this song just being performed live. It is, it's a fucking beautiful song. Beautiful song. Very, is awesome. I love it. I'm downloading it. Man. I love it. Love it. Beautiful voice. The way her voice literally changed here is really interesting because it almost feels like this person's just yelling for some kind of hope at a situation. Even before this saying like, um, like talking about like, I've already forgotten you. And then saying that on my last day, I know you won't be there. Kind of feels like that maybe it's just like, if I've forgotten you then, I've forgotten you now. Meaning that because of how time moves, I've already forgotten you. Something like that. I might be looking too much into it, but it feels very intelligently written. But then the character's voice completely changing pitch and sound and style here feels really emotional. <laughs> What a beautiful song! I'm feeling like weirdly teary-eyed and emotional after that. <clears throat> I can't quite explain it, but I'll do my best. I don't know. There is a um, there is a sadness to this, you know. I'm seeing that a lot with the the lyrics and the song in general. It has like a proper sadness to it, you know. I don't know. It's hard. It, it, it's a tough one. The lines about the person not being there on the last day of your life. But then saying like, even then I will, I will sing of love, you know, love for this person. And please tell me more clearly, maybe then you can be there on the last day of my life. You know, it seems like it could be about multiple things. It could be about like, <clears throat> like a breakup or losing someone close to you. That relationship sort of fracturing and then looking in the future saying like, if we just discussed, if we just talk more, you can be here in my life. You can still be a part of my life and then we can grow old together and you can be here on my last day. Something like that. But it, or it, I don't know, it could be something else. It could be about a relationship within a family. Maybe I'm looking too much into it. Maybe I'm overcomplicating something that's really simple. Maybe it's just a nice song about wanting someone to be there with you, you know, and maybe it's a bit more romantic. I'm not really sure. And that's what I love about it. The lyrics feel like poetry, you know? I, I, I feel like, I say this a lot, but I feel like when I listen to like Western music, music from the UK, music from America, the lyrics are very literal, you know? Very literal. There's no, there's no double meanings. There's no layers to unpack. There's no complications to it. It's everything that is said is what is happening. There's nothing to look for behind the scenes. There's nothing to interpret in different ways. And that's fun, cool, sure. It's simple. But I really love the complications you get when you look to more Eastern music, especially with Japan and Korea, and you listen to those songs, and you have things like a sad bop. Because you don't really have that with English-speaking music. You don't. A sad bop isn't really a thing. But in Japan and in Korea, a sad bop is a thing. You have these songs where if you don't know the lyrics and you don't know the words, you would presume it's a happy, fun, energetic song. And you could just listen to the song and be smiling and just be having the best time 
and the second someone tells you what it's about, it suddenly breaks your heart and you never listen to it the same again. For example, Stay With Me. Stay With Me is a song that before I knew what it was about, I just loved. I thought it was like the perfect romantic song and I just loved it. The second you know more about the singer and you know more about that song, you never listen to it the same again. You cry every time you listen to it. And I love that complication. I love that layered approach to music. I love the the poetry writing. And I feel like uh, Yorush Yorushika did exactly that with Say It. And I fell in love with this song and I fell in love with her. I fell in love with them. I, I, I loved this. This was a beautiful song. It was it was stunning. I love the simply drawn art style as well in the music video. It really created a nice touch to it. A nice sort of layer of innocence. And I so want to listen to more from her. What a stunning voice. What an amazing song. And I love the mellow rock vibes. This was awesome. I so want to listen to more. I loved this song. Say It was beautiful. Really enjoyed this. If you guys want more reactions to Yoroshika, let me know. Put your recommendations down below in that comment section. If there's any more artists or songs from anywhere in the world, let me know. All right, let me know. Put them down below in that comment section. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe as well. If you're not subscribed already, please press that button if you enjoyed this reaction. And don't forget to check out our store, gotgamesclothing.com. We ship worldwide. The link to that store is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. And as always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.